Now, the issue of climate change has been all around us in recent weeks. I mean, we've seen it in the extreme weather we're experiencing, from deadly wildfires to these heat waves to these deadly floods. So as Congress considers making a massive investment in green energy, many Americans are wondering, what can I do to make a difference today? Well, joining us now on set is Brahim al Husani. He's the founder and managing partner of Full Cycle. Good morning. It's so good to have you with us. It's such an important conversation. We're so happy to be having it with you. So consumers have this power based on what they buy, how that's going to drive things. What's your advice for shoppers who want to make sure that their dollars are going somewhere good when it comes to the environment? That's a great question, Savannah. Thanks for asking. So um, the biggest thing that we can do, obviously, is vote for candidates who have a green platform, because that mm -hmm. really gives us the footprint that we need to tackle such a global issue. Mm -hmm. You know, another very important thing that we can do is choose where we bank. Most people never huh? think about the fact that our deposits uh, the way banks make money is they lend against our deposits. And a lot of these banks lend towards fossil fuel projects in the trillions. And we don't know that. And so our money is basically acting against our values. There are certain banks, like Aspiration Bank, for example, that commits not to do that, plus plants trees every time we use our debit or credit card. You know, uh, wow. yeah, uh, First Republic also does the same thing. Uh, Bank of the West does the same thing. They've committed no longer to fund fossil fuel expansions. These are small things that we can do. Mm -hmm. We can also choose to buy less or no fast fashion anymore and participate in this new trend of thrifting where mm -hmm. we're using previously loved items over and over again. And in, maybe in my generation that was considered something taboo to do, but now it's completely mainstream. In fact, as a badge of honor mm -hmm. for people to do that. And there's always these diamonds in the rough and uh, Retro yeah. looks that are yeah. always in, yeah, and exactly. And the lunch for them is fun. Yeah, that's yeah. super helpful. <laughs> Let's talk about transportation because that's the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. The EPA says it makes up 27% of mm -hmm. all emissions. Obviously, cities are built with cars in mind. So what do we do to get around that? What are some of the best things we can do? Great question. So um, when they say that figure, that includes obviously air travel and shipping. You know, mm -hmm. and But cars are a massive... One, and it's lovely that the new uh, Inflation Reduction Act is giving a $7,500 credit towards EVs. And there's 46 electric vehicles now on the market. You don't just have to spend $100,000 on a Tesla. You can buy a $35,000 Chevy Bolt if you wanted, plus get the $7,500 credit. Mm. I, sitting senators in the U.S. drive Bolts, and they're super happy with them. Obviously, uh, there's a new technology now where we can take our waste and turn it into jet fuel. That's considered carbon neutral. Uh -huh. So some airlines are now using carbon neutral jet fuel. So uh, people, I don't think, understand how carbon intensive flying is. Uh, we did a calculation where if it takes uh, the equivalent of eating meat and dairy, which is extremely carbon intensive, uh -huh. eating it for six years is equivalent to flying one way from London to Los Angeles. Wow. Oh my so, goodness. So, you know, so traveling locally makes a big difference. Doing it in an EV makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh. Such great tips there. And yeah. just so good to know that people can take little things that they can go do on their own. Yeah, Raheem right. Al-Hassani, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you for your having time. me. Very nice to have you with us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.